Okay, I'm at one of the entrances to Falls Creek Cave. This is the middle entrance, so I guess it's the hardest one. Well, long story short, it's the skylight. As you can see, like over there, it's pretty much a 40 foot drop straight down. Okay, maybe 35. The point is, uh, yeah, it's not a shortcut, unless you're really good at climbing rope. I don't even have a rope with me. So I'll be going the long way. So as you can see, it's tall enough down there, there's maple trees growing down there, and I'm like at the top of those trees. There is a sort of trail around here, just so you can look. What's really cool, I'll pan down here, a little skylight right here. You could definitely look down there, but again, look at that. It's like, uh, you know, dozens of feet down. In fact, I don't even want to go out on that little natural bridge. I'm going to stay over here. I definitely don't want to come over here when there's snow. It'd be an ugly spot to slip and fall. Yeah, I'm sure people have walked across that bridge. It's like four feet wide, but I'm just not feeling that brave today. So. See what it is today. Today is Wednesday, August, that'd be 11th, 2021. Some around 9 a.m., I suppose. Don't really know or care what time it is, but the point is, it's still officially summer. It's gonna be really hot today, so that's why I'm shooting this video out here while well, it's still kind of cool. Seriously, in the 70s already. Fahrenheit, obviously. Wow, yeah. It's a nice little drop right there. Okay, let me finish my circle here. Okay, I think this is about where I started the video. Okay. Let's see if I can go back the other way. So the cave from here goes both uh, up and down. This is in the I wouldn't say the middle of the cave because it's near the upper end, but you get the idea. As you can see, there's no official trail here. It's just sort of people wandering around trying to find the cave. From that entrance to the upper entrance, by ground, it doesn't seem very far at all. Like not even 200 feet. Inside, it seems a little longer, just because it's a very uneven floor. It's a bit of work. So here we are, same as the other one. There's a maple trees growing down there everywhere. This time of year, it's green. Just starting to change to the fall colors, but I wasn't gonna wait for that. Got a lot of stuff going on. Had a lot of sun or sunny weather this summer, so I've been out and about quite a bit, as much as I can. Notice here there's a way down, reasonable way down, because the walls aren't so steep. So you notice over there, the cave keeps going a bit. It's uh, a dead end. It doesn't go very far, but as you can see, it is huge. So I'm actually gonna, once I finish looking around the outside of the cave, start at the upper end, work my way down. Can't get to the lower end of the cave. The lower end of the cave gets much harder. But see how far I can get without dying. Huh. Saw something fly in front of me, but I didn't catch what it was. Besides a bird. Got a one or two guess. It's either a bird or a bat. This time of day, my guess would be bird. Now this cave is open year round, but good luck getting up here in the winter. Obviously the roads up here are not plowed. So, you know, be a heck of a long walk from what passes for civilization these days. Uh, as you can see, the sink is dozens of feet wide, dozens of feet long, dozens of feet deep. Nice big hole in the ground. This isn't the best lighting. I'm kind of facing the sun, but oh well. Hopefully you get the idea. So you see there's the way down this side too. So there's a couple different ways down there. As long as you watch your footing, try to be careful so you don't slip, trip. 
he'll get attacked by a wild animal. I don't think I've seen any wildlife up here. I think they're pretty good at avoiding us nasty humans. Okay, so this is where I came up. Okay, so this is the upper entrance to the cave. Now, before I call the video ended, I wanted to show you something else suspicious. Notice there's a hole that way, so the cave keeps going this way, right? So that brings up the obvious question, what's over this away? Well, you would think there'd be a cave, right? That'd be way too easy. If I can find a decent trail here, so I don't have to trample a bunch of plants. All right, here we go. Here's another hole. We call this a breakdown sink. Okay, here's the funny part. There's no cave. It doesn't connect to the cave. It's just a big hole in the ground where the cave collapsed, but it's sealed off. So unless you want to ask Superman to try removing those loose rocks for you. Yeah, you're, there's nothing here. Go ahead and do a lap anyway, just so you can take a look. Maybe you can look better, harder than I can. See, it's easy to get down to this one, but there's no point. There's nothing down there. Ow. Got some deadly rocks here trying to kill me. Of course, you want to see something interesting come to a place like this when there is some snow because um if there is a cave there will be air blowing in and out of the cave so you should be able to tell where the caves are right so is there any uh, airflow down there something to think about like i said i'm not going to come up here when there's snow because the road sucks even this time of year the road sucks but in the winter it sucks even more in the winter it really sucks Notice how deep it is. It's not, it's almost as deep as the other two sinks, but not quite. So. What's funny, see that wall over there of rock? That's pretty much like where the cave ends. So I'm wondering, okay, how thick or thin is that level, that wall of rocks right there? <laughs> something to think about okay well can't see anything from the trail